Okay, so many of these students have a common terminology confusion or mistake regarding the I ratio means inspiratory time to expiry time ratio and one point of time I was also using the same mistake. So when we say about I ratio, suppose the I ratio is 1 is to 2 means inspiratory time is 1 second, expiry time is 2 second or that's the ratio in between those two. So when we say that increase the I ratio, so many of the students will making it 1 is to 3, 1 is to 4 and when we say decrease the I ratio, we say it from 1 is to 2 to make it 1 is to 1 but this is not the way this is not the correct way understand that i ratio is the ratio between inspiratory time to expiratory time so whenever the ratio increases that means the numerator is increasing the inspiratory time is increasing so in changing from 1 is to 2 to 1 is to 3 we are actually decreasing the inspiratory time and uh, making the expiratory time more so it is not increasing we are decreasing the i ratio so how we should use it so when we use the terminology Increase the I ratio means increase the inspiratory time. So from 1 is to 2, we need to make it 1 is to 1 in that direction. And when we say that decrease the I ratio means we decrease the inspiratory time. So from 1 is to 2 to make it 1 is to 3 or 1 is to 4. So this is the correct way. It means increasing or decreasing the I ratio means how we are dealing with the inspiratory time. We are increasing the I ratio or decreasing the I ratio means we are increasing the inspiratory time or decreasing the uh, expiry time. So this is very important in terms of the MCQs or the question posted in the exam when there are options. So don't get confused. I ratio increasing means increasing the inspiratory time. I ratio decreasing means decreasing the inspiratory time. So do read more about it and share with your colleagues also this thing. Thank you.